The launch of AMD Zen 4 processors is imminent! So what should you know before running out to buy one? The first thing you'll probably notice if you buy a Zen 4 or Ryzen 7000 series chip is that AMD has finally switched to a more Intel-like LGA socket. This is actually Team Red's first ever mainstream consumer LGA socket, which AMD is using to increase pin density. AM5, as they're calling it, increases the pin count from 1,331 to 1,718, which will allow the CPU to receive up to 230 watts of power, increase bandwidth for DDR5 and PCIe 5.0, and make the CPU itself more durable. But of course, you'll have to take care not to bend the pins on the motherboard. Oh, wait, wait, back up a second. DDR5 and PCIe 5? That is indeed what I said, as Zen 4 features support for both. But you'll need to pay attention to what motherboard you're buying if you want PCIe 5.0. It's potentially important for future graphics cards, but the only chipset that features it as standard is the new X670 Extreme. However, DDR5 will be supported by Zen 4 regardless of what chipset you have, along with a new feature called Expo. But Expo isn't a fancy soiree at the London Crystal Palace. Instead, it's AMD's answer to Intel's XMP memory profiles. And yes, I realize that's like saying ATM machine, but we're trying to make things easy here, okay. Anyway, this might sound a little confusing if you're used to setting your memory speeds and timings with DOCP or EOCP, but the thing is, these solutions are only offered by ASUS and Gigabyte, respectively. Expo, by contrast, was developed by AMD itself, so you should be able to get one-click memory overclocking regardless of who made your motherboard. But what about the stuff we've all been waiting for? Raw performance, vroom vroom, you know? Well, we'll get right into that after we thank Vulture for sponsoring this video. Vulture provides high performance cloud servers, bare metal, storage, and managed Kubernetes at a fraction of the cost of big tech. In less than 60 seconds, you can bring your own ISO or deploy Windows or Linux from over 25 server locations worldwide for low latency infrastructure wherever needed. Also, there's Vulture Talon Cloud GPU, allowing devs to deploy fractions of virtualized NVIDIA A100s to handle even the most advanced workloads. Try Vulture today and receive an exclusive 30-day $150 code for new signups at the link below. Now, here's the nitty gritty. AMD's internal benchmarks, taken with a grain of salt, indicate 13% more instructions per clock cycle, partly thanks to a larger cache size, as well as better branch prediction. But the bigger advancement is probably the five nanometer process that Zen 4 is built on. AMD partnered with TSMC to develop a chip that would get higher performance despite an overall smaller die size than Zen 3. Team Red also included support for AVX 512 extensions. And if you have no clue what that is, it's a set of instructions that Intel actually axed from its Alder Lake CPUs in favor of power efficiency. AMD clearly thought it was still worth keeping in, so they baked in partial AVX 512 support in order to help with deep learning and AI applications. And speaking of power efficiency, we're looking at 62% less power draw for the same performance as Zen 3, which AMD attributes to not only the new manufacturing process, but also lessons they learned in the mobile arena. Of course, it remains to be seen how all these improvements will translate to performance in the applications you use the most, and AMD has already admitted you shouldn't expect earth-shattering performance from the integrated RDNA 2 graphics compared to their upcoming APU lineup, but at least it looks like integrated graphics are coming standard in case you just need a display out. It won't be long, though, until we get independent testing available for broad consumption, as the Ryzen 7000 series is due out on store shelves on September 27th, and more variations, including cheaper non-X versions, should be coming our way sometime next year. Best of all, there's no price increase compared to what Zen 3 sold for, and there's actually a discount at the top end of the product stack. Let's all just keep our fingers crossed that we can actually get chips at MSRP instead of selling our spleens to some dude in a back alley. I don't want to do that again. And I don't want to keep doing this video because it's over. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Check out our other videos. Comment below with video suggestions. And don't you forget to subscribe and follow, you cutie you. <laughs>